This video will illustrate how to multiply binomials that contain radicals. We are doing the FOIL, the same thing that we do when we work with polynomials, and it works just as well when you have radicals. First term times first term is root 3 times 7. That gives me 7 root 3. Outside terms, root 3 times negative root 3 give me negative root of 3 times 3. Inside terms, 2 times 7, that's 14. And then last term times last term, 2 times negative root 3 minus 2 root 3. 7 root 3 minus 2 root 3 gives me 5 root 3. And then the square root of 3 times 3 is the square root of 9. It's 3. I have negative 3 plus 14. Negative 3 plus 14 is equal to 11. 5 root 3 plus 11 is my answer. In the second example, I have 2 times 3 and root 5 times root 5, which gives me root of 5 times 5. I have minus 1 times 2 root 5, which is minus 2 root 5. I have minus 4 times 3 root 5, which is minus 12 root 5. And I have minus 4 times minus 1, which is plus 4. 2 times 3 is 6, 5 times 5 is 25, I have 6 root 25. Minus 2 root 5 minus 12 root 5 is minus 14 root 5, and I have plus 4. The square root of 25 is 5, so I have 6 times 5 minus 14 root 5 plus 4. 6 times 5 is 30 minus 14 root 4. My final answer is 34 minus 14 root 5. In this example, I have root 6 times root 3. This gives me the square root of 6 times 3. Minus 5 times root 6. Minus 5 root 6. 3 root 2 times root 3, which gives me plus 3 square root of 2 times 3. And 3 root 2 times negative 5, which is minus 15 root 2. Root of 6 times 3 is root 18, minus 5 root 6. 2 times 3 is 6, so I have plus 3 root 6, minus 15 root 2. 18 has a factor that is a square, which is 9, so I break it into the square root of 9 times 2. Minus 5 root 6 plus 3 root 6 is minus 2 root 6, minus 15 root 2. Square root of 9 is 3, so I have 3 root 2 minus 2 root 6 minus 15 root 2. 3 root 2 minus 15 root 2 is negative 12 root 2, and the minus 2 root 6, that's my answer. In this example, I have 2 times 2, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which gives me root of 3 times 3. I have 4 times 2 root 3, that's plus 8 root 3. Here I have 4 times 2 root 3, that's also plus 8 root 3. And 4 times 4, that's 16. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. I have 4 root 9. Plus 8 root 3 plus 8 root 3 is plus 16 root 3. Plus 16. The square root of 9 is 3, so I have 4 times 3 plus 16 root 3 plus 16. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 16, root 3, plus 16. And 12 plus 16 is 28. I have 28 plus 16, root 3, as my final answer. Here we have 2 times 2, root 5 times root 5. 3 times 2 root 5 is plus 6 root 5. Negative 3 times 2 root 5 is minus 6 root 5. And negative 3 times 3 is minus 9. 2 times 2 is 4. Root 5 times 5 is root 25. Plus 6 root 5 and minus 6 root 5 cancel, and I still have my minus 9. The square root of 25 is 5, so this becomes 4 times 5 minus 9. 
20 minus 9? The answer is 11. It's interesting because this looks like the answer to a difference of squares. The first terms are the same, the last terms are the same, and one of the binomials has a minus and the other has a plus. It's also interesting to note that the final answer is 11. It does not have a radical in it. 